health and options, settings, audio, music and sound. I'm going to set both to 60. Okay. I actually have a, my current setting was a 20 music, 100 sound, which I think is funny, but I'll put both to 60. Uh, That's a good idea. Okay, okay. sounds check. Minecart sounds check. Game chat. That's like if uh, we make it an online server and people come in. Well, I'm going to check that one off anyway as well. Okay. Not... All right. Um, custom scan animation, duh. Everything else should be good. Um, get your skin. You don't have to say what it is. Um, I'm probably going to go the tried and true here. Let me see, just in case. Um, yeah, that works for me. Okay, let's see. Broadcast gameplay. YouTube. And I'm on the air. Okay. Not O W B. Hmm. M C dash B. Oh, you put dashes there. Nice. Yeah. So twenty standard. Da -da 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 -da. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and create that world now. And you said hard survival? Yeah, man. Alrighty. Um. Man, okay. I'm just trying to think. Uh. What's um? What's a good name for it? Do you think? Uh, something, something moon and star. Hmm. That's a good point. Something uh, celestial. Something. Uh, the celestial, celestial throne. Um, celestial, celestial sandbox. I like celestial sandbox. It sounds like a Mario level. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm actually gonna say we crank audio down a little bit further. Like I say, forty to both of them because it's actually kind of loud. Um, <laughs> you want to make an online game and just open it up to whatever the fuck? I'm no. kidding. Let's not do that. Alrighty. No. Thing is. The audio's down to forty. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. The server is being initialized. <laughs> Send me an invite asap so we don't get. Uh overrun by the moon oh yeah no kidding start gameplay by getting creepered to hell I mean yeah Jesus oh that's right we have to oh the zombies can break down our door yep the... oh fuck I forgot I don't the even plan on building any lasting structures until I found somewhere that looks really pretty mm -hmm. you know it's sad I forgot to spawn a bonus chest who the hell uses bonus chests? Me. All right, um, I'm gonna put the audio down. Forty. That's better. You can still hear it, but it's not deafening. Okay. And uh, you should be able to join me. I think it's on your main menu. Uh, there is no game for me to join. Interesting. Let me see. I assume your settings just didn't include, uh, you know what, like friends probably. to join or whatever. Well, it's probably because it's not a uh, online game now that I just realized. Yeah. All right, I'll go ahead and do that. All right. And I'm gonna have us do like a sync thing just in case. Um, <coughs> whatever works. Your more options, invite only. Yeah, definitely. Um, host privileges. Uh, no. Well, actually, let's not do invite only, so you can just join in whenever you're ready. Title drops, yeah, everything is normal. <laughs> Trust players. Um, disable autosave? No, I want autosave on. World size is on. Large. Um, okay, I just want to double check, make sure we had everything. Okay, and away we go. Okay. You see anything to join? Not yet. Hmm. 
Hmm. Are you clomping around the world presently? Yeah, which is why I don't understand. Well then, just send me an invite. You game invites, like I don't understand. There are no invitations. What, what the what the fuck? What do what the fuck? Um, well, it's gonna be a hard first night. How do I invite my buds? Oh, host options. Fucking yeah. invite friends. Thank you, Jesus Christ. There we go. I like how it includes a please. Please come and play a game of Minecraft. And yeah, we, pro we probably could have held off on the... Uh, can't the join game. There we are. You cannot join this game because it has been limited to players who are friends of the host. What the fuck? Are you fucking serious? Um, hold the fuck on. Uh, is it because of, hang on. What the fuck? Why? Why has it got to do? You definitely are um, on my friends list. I don't understand why that's a uh, why this is doing a thing. Let's see. Uh, is an online game only if, maybe if I invite you? Uh, I don't understand. Ugh, why is it gonna be like this? <sighs> Man, this is gonna be nice and fun to edit. Alright, gonna try this one. Please come play. Keep joining. Reportedly connected. There we go. Aha! Alright. <clears throat> something something intro? Um, yeah, just give me a second. I'm going to uh, stare at me real quick. And on the count of three, I'm going to punch you. One, two, three, punch. Oh, wait, what? Hold on, hold on. One, two, three, punch. Okay. Oh. So we've got that timing thing in there. Um, you can return one to me, count to three, and then punch me. One, two, three, bow. There we go. Cool. All right, uh, there's a creeper down there. Um, so we're going to go this way. All right, um, you set? Yep. All right, and away we go. Um, hello, everyone, and welcome to a, another episode of Moon and Star. Uh, we learned our lesson about trying to play Overwatch on this channel, at least for now, until we can figure out something more entertaining. Um, and we're going back to an old, trusty favorite. Uh, we're playing us some Minecraft. I think like Minecraft's All like a real- All I see around us are trees. Lots and lots of trees. That's not a bad thing. Yeah, yeah I, I always felt that like Minecraft was kind of like an underrepresented, um, you know, ti like you know, indie title in the, in the streaming community. So I figured we could like shed a little bit of love on it. Uh, and give it some of the attention that it justly deserves. So, That's a joke, I mean, right? <laughs> uh, thank you. you, 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 you um, this is the part where you win the new car on The Price is Right. Um, so I was, I had like a bunch of ideas of like how we were going to do this, because I think you still have our old world from um, like way back when, right? Nope. No? Burn it to the ground. Really? Oh, that's right. I yep. remember now. Yeah, you destroyed it. Dick. Um... <laughs> so that is definitely irreversibly lost. Um, I was gonna say like one of my ideas was like, oh, what, what if we like go like visit and explore our old stuff? Um, but I guess that wasn't a thing anyway. But I had like a couple ideas. I have one where I'm playing with my girlfriend and her roommate and stuff like that, and we have a little thing set up. Um, but Brandon over here was like, uh, no, what we're going to do is we are going to get on the hardest setting possible on survival and just go from there with nothing but our wits and our survival skills. 
Yeah, no cushy manor house to start with this time. I, um, sorry, I'm, I'm fine with, uh, with frontiering it. That being said, um, inviting you into the game was a hassle, and that cost us a marginal amount of sunlight. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, that's gonna prove to be a problem. Hmm. Uh, we'll be fine. Well, we I'll be fine. I just need to run faster than you. These are really big trees over here. And I found a cow already. All right, it's time to start leaving the legacy. I'm, oh, dude, there's we got a really good uh, start over here. Um, I found an island. It is my house now. It's my home. Uh, oh, there's another island. Oh, there's multiple islands. Now all I need is some coal. There's some lava over there. Holy shit, dude. We got like a really solid starting spot over here. Like cool little vista with these canyons and everything uh water and lava on two sides of that thing that's natural lighting over there so we don't have to dig for coal um and defensible from zombies because they don't like water yeah that's interesting yeah i'm i'm okay with setting up shop over here there looks like there's an atoll over there as well but there's no well, trees my priority right now is killing some wildlife because oh uh, yeah sheepies food. food and sheep which, I mean, she provided both of those. Yes, exactly, because I want to skip as many nights as possible. All right. Um, <laughs> we're not going to be doing anything terribly inventive with uh, this playthrough, at least not as it stands. Right now, this is going to be like some Wild Wild West Frontier, good old BS, and hopefully our banter will be enough to fill the void for now. Um, Did you say Wild Wild West? Uh, listen, I... <laughs> um, so... Uh, hey, hey, hear me out, hear me out. Um, like, on New Year's Eve, for some reason, I just happened to hear um, Will Smith's Wild Wild West on the radio, and it has been in my head for like a solid two weeks. Uh, wiki Wiki Wild Wild West, Wiki Wiki Wild. Um, and I, I just I haven't been able to get it out. It's just been in there. It's been stuck irreversibly lodged within my like mandula oblongata, just... Th that funky little trumpet chorus they have going on. Going straight to the wild, wild west. It's, just, it's and I, I just can't stop. It's there. It's like a disease. I'm just amazed that that's on the radio. You'd be surprised. Like Will Smith is like a timeless classic in himself. He like belongs in a museum. Okay. I have belongs in a museum. Um. What if then? I'm Ooh, picturing... this is pretty. What's that? You have like a little, little grotto over here, a little niche in the mountains with a kind of like a natural pool here. Okay, I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging, I'm kind of digging like my little island over here because again, defensible. Um, the only thing is like <clears throat> lack of light. Um, it's the only thing that's worrying me. So I might be. Uh, brave and build myself out next to that lava and hope I don't die. Speaking of which, speaking of light, uh, that sun is beginning to teeter close to the horizon. Oh boy. Yep, well I'm going towards that lava. My safety lava. Um, and I take it you have your map set? Yep. Cool. So at least, um, at least there's that. I hope we, uh, I hope we get like a village start or something, because that was always, um, one thing I always want to do when I do these is, like, I just want to find a village as soon as possible and just chill there. It's like, hey, guys, we're moving in. Yeah, but then I feel the uh, obligation to build up walls and stuff so that the villagers are not all, aren't all murdered, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, sometimes is... they have their own walls. Ooh, sheep. I, I, I've been around some villages that have their own walls built. Mr. Sheepy, give me your skin. Hmm. Okay, well, there's one block of wool. Five more to go. Hmm. I, um, I had popped this in for, like, the first time, because, like, M hadn't, like, played it for very long periods of time. Um, and she had wanted to try it. So, um, so, uh, like, well, it... It was like kind of like, hey, you feel like playing anything? It was like, yeah, what you got? And it's like, you want to try Minecraft? And she's like, yeah, sure. Um, I found coal. So that's what we did. And um, 
my first instinct was like, as always, okay, let's uh, let's punch some wood, get some get some stuff, and build a house. These boats haul ass. Oh yeah, the new boats are ridiculous. But um, yeah, my first instinct was like the same thing as always: build a house, uh, you know, get some torches, and you know, carve out a little niche for yourself in the world. She chose a direction and started walking. <laughs> uh, that's uh, that's an interesting way to play. Well, she she really wanted to like explore shit. Um, ah, oh, see, you found me. Yaha. Alrighty. So I mean, the honestly, the uh, the lava isn't even necessary anymore. Uh, I'm taking your boat. Marooning me. Meh. I also forget how to drive these things. <laughs> I'll be safe out here in the middle of the ocean. And I am just going to uh, cower next to the lava flow here. Yeah. Alrighty. I'm gonna dot my little homeland with uh, some homeland security. Boo. Two. I wasn't even trying to make a joke. Is this what it is? Boom. And uh, some good circumference. Boom. I could make some more because I have the technology. Well, I hope my uh, crafting bench does not catch fire here. <laughs> Though it is right next to the lava flow, so. Uh, it, it will we'll catch on fire. It absolutely will. I think there's like it has like a radius or something like that where if it's too close, it will catch on fire. Uh, just want to make sure there's absolutely enough light going around. Um, let's see. I'm just trying to like get some optimal coverage here. What do you want? My friends are like texting me and I'm like, get, 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 give me a break, bud. Um, so Now, what the hell is this on my map here? South of where I am is something purple on the map? Uh, might be some mushrooms. We'll figure it out in the morning whenever we're not in mortal danger. Hmm. I might as well use this extra time I have to do some digging. Uh, or I kind of do want to build like a little shack over here. Um, fuck, I, I don't remember what I was going to say, but it was like, um, oh, I'm so bad about that. Uh, oh, that, 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 is a, that is some glowing red eyes. I don't care much for that. Um, yep, that is why I am nearly perfectly motionless right here. <laughs> um, oh, I remember. Um, yeah, so whenever um, M took a just random direction and went for it, she chanced upon like um, on like the opposite side of the map from me. Um, after having already died once and thus losing her map, um, <laughs> she ran into like a freaking uh, like Illager cult. Um, which, by the way, have you been playing um, in recent time to know about Illagers? No. They're evil villagers. Um, oh, charming. I know, it's adorable. But, like, yeah, she basically stumbled upon, like, a cultist um, temple. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. And uh, <clears throat> she got down to, like, one heart and dug herself into the sand and uh, <laughs> and, like, just chilled there. And I could not find it. So what she did was, like, after she was sure that she was safe and, like, there weren't any illagers around to, like, um, to get her, she climbed out of her hidey hole and built a gigantic sky dick, um, as tall as it possibly could, <laughs> as a sort of, like, makeshift beacon so I could find her. Um, and that's where we're at right now. We haven't actually progressed past that yet. That sounds pretty magical. It's wonderful. I love playing video games with her. Um... Okay, I fucking hate sand. Like, and I am absolutely making the Star Wars joke there, but I just uh, gravity. Like, Horse and roughing gets everywhere. Fuck, all, it really does get everywhere. Like, I, I just wanna, I just wanna break this block. Okay, we're good. Oh no, I had to break twenty other blocks because fuck you. Uh, get a little lower down there. You having fun by the lava there, bud? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> Um, is there any, like, um, it was like, if I can just, again, like, showcase just how, like, impromptu, unplanned this whole session was, I'm, like, fixing to basically ask if there's anything you wanted to talk about, um, but I'm trying to, like, uh, no. 
even as I we're think of any. well so even as we're in the middle of i i don't want to say pioneering because we're this is by far from the first time we've done this um but uh we we it's been a while and we're still kind of trying to figure out like what exactly we want to do um and granted, since like most of our audience, if not all, will come from the UESP forums and stuff like that, and um, yep. and the RP sub forum, which, if you're like one of the the two people who might stumble upon this, um, not from there, uh, UESP is a unofficial Elder Scrolls forums, um, unofficial Elder Scrolls pages forums. It's a uh, Elder Scrolls that's being Oblivion, Morrowind, Skyrim, all that stuff. Um, fan site that's been around for i want to say give or take like almost 20 years now like didn't it didn't like launch in like 95 or something it's been a while i have absolutely no idea i just i know it's been around for a really really long time but um oh shit i might have fucked myself over here is it bad that i'm a forum mod and i don't know okay but like the forum and the the wiki are separated um like to a large degree like um with how the with how the discord chat is like kind of put together i and like it's funny to me how few people I know because they just never go on the uh, on the forums at all but so yeah there's um we've got that there um big place for like people who like Elder Scrolls like if you're like me um you just have like a good time playing Skyrim or whatever the hell um and so that's how like you know a lot of us um a lot of us being like the people we hang out on there we all met right there um and one of the I just flooded myself that's fantastic one of the things you we did yourself. on there, yeah, ha 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 ha. One of the things we did on uh, the UESP forums is we have a role-playing section, which, although it does like you know by saying it out loud, sound like just as la- uh, just as lame as LARPing. Um, in all actuality, it's essentially like um, forum-based D and D campaigns, um, which is where personally I spend most of my time on there, just chilling out, and I mean so do you. Yep. Um, and that's, um, a lot of who we were expecting to broadcast to or talk about. So, I mean, you know, in the event that, you know, we're five years later, we're like, you know, number one on like YouTube Rewind and everything, we can like <laughs> look back on this later. God damn it, I'm an idiot. Um, but, um, until then, I mean, like, you know, we can easily nerd out and stuff. Until then, yes. Yeah, yeah no kidding. So, I mean, there's, that's at least, um a fountain of uh, discussion for a bit. Honestly, I think it's entertaining enough just to watch us, like, fuck around like idiots trying to live. Especially you. Yeah, well, right now I'm just, uh, again, crouched, motionless, near low flow. I see a bouncing green square object near you. Yeah, (laughs) those uh, don't tend to be friendly. I was going to say, have fun dealing with that. But, um, so let's see. I, I really need to stop saying but, um, that's, like, such a bad habit. Oh. Oh. Or I do believe light. we're approaching sunrise. Alrighty. Alright, day one survived. You can check that one off on the list. And I killed a single slime. I'm proud of you. Okay, I can start making stone tools now. Stone pickaxe. Stone shovel. Alrighty. So yeah, um, well, I at the, hear more slimes. There's gotta be a lot whenever you kill them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I, I tried to go for the Obi Wan joke there, but like my mind completely blanked. Hmm. Right. Uh, something something greater numbers. Uh, 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 something something Sam people. They'll be back in a greater numbers. Yeah. Um, my dad would kill me if I didn't know the quote off the bat. Um. Disowned. Yeah, basically. Um. I guess I don't even know why I'm doing this. I I know I need to get stone and everything, but I guess I just wanted to do something to pass the time till day. Now it's time to venture back out up into the world and look for sheep to slaughter so I can sleep. Okay. <laughs> but how will you sleep with yourself at night? Mm-hmm. Soundly on a lovely bed of down. Oh what Jesus the Christ! Fuck is that? That is a villager. Oh, no, it's an illager. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, 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 okay. Ow, ow, painful. Poundful. Painful. Ow. 
<laughs> Ow, I'm poisoned apparently, and this is this is bullshit. How do I stop getting hurt? Don't die. Well, it's Don't it's a die. little late. It's a little it. it's a little late for that. Like I'm poisoned, and there's nothing I can do about it. This is fucking fair. This is this is fine. What the fuck are you supposed to do? Are are, are you? Uh, I, uh, okay, I, I stopped just short of being dead. Um, now all I have to eat is raw mutton. Um, to heal myself here, so... Is the Illager dead? No, he's still very much probably on the hunt for me. I have no idea where he is. Um, I'm very scared. I see of a pointy hat or something. Oh, yep. That, that is the bad boy. Oh, he's stuck in the hole that I made. Good, motherfucker. Stay down there. Piece of shit. Um, yeah, you can, like, wail on him for a little bit. He has a projectile attack. Be careful. Oh, that's a witch. Okay. Yeah. Fuck him up. Eat shit, old lady. Taking all your shit. Some of your shit. Uh, glass bottle, redstone. Ugh, I'm gonna kill that cow. Um, I'm taking my boat back. Have fun. This is gonna be my little land. Uh, I, I carved out a light source for myself, so my landmass is established. This is Casa del Tyler. Casa del Union, as it were. As a matter of fact, as soon as I build a fence, a uh, fence, a, a sign, that's going to be the first thing I put. Casa del Union. Hum, hum, hum. I'm very intrigued by the uh, purple land mass to the yeah. south here. Yeah, go investigate that, because, I mean, I thought that was going to be, like, where we would find some actual illagers. I was like, oh, shit, that's probably where he's going to find them, and then I get attacked. Just some old bullshit. I really thought I was gonna die. I was like, uh, "Place that wrong." Just it, well, like it's my okay. I, I killed yeah. your illager. Thank you. My my health just kept on ticking down and down and down. Um, let's uh, that. Uh, I got some, I got some sugar. I don't know what I can use that for. Um, oh, I I just had a tool tip that tells me what it's there for, but um, oh, <laughs> using the cake recipe. Perfect. And as an ingredient in brewing potions. Okay. Hello, like, mushroom. Ah, oh, yeah, that's right, because we have a couple of uh, mushrooms in here. Sorry, I was adjusting my headphones. Um, it's it's an interesting start they gave us here. It, it's like a yep. couple it's a couple biomes just like clashing on each other really harshly, and I kind of dig it. Ah, uh, yeah, there's also some desert over here, and got some savanna across the water. All right. Real um, real veritable untamed Garden of Eden we got going on then. Something like hmm. that, yeah. All right, I'm going to hold this on to this raw beef. Well, we'll have to carve it out. Um, if I haven't mentioned on the audio yet, uh, this uh, I we were discussing what to name the world before we started playing, and like because we're moon and star, we're probably going to make a habit of making a bunch of like celestial or like astrological references whenever we name things. And so I was like, celestial, some, well, he was like, he mentioned the word celestial, and I was like, yeah, let's do that. And I just kept on going back and forth, and I figured, well, Minecraft, mine, sand, sandbox game. And so I decided it would be the Celestial Sandbox. I was happy about this because it sounds like a Mario level. That makes me really happy. It really does. They always do the, um, what's the, not assonance, uh, alliteration. They, they do a lot of alliteration in the Mario titles. It always makes me really happy. It's just, um... Childlike, I guess, would be a good word for it. Just um, very innocent and jubilant. Whimsical, maybe? Words. Hmm. All right. Did you break out your thesaurus for those? Um, thesaurus? Excuse the fuck out of me. Pronounce that word correctly? Like an American? Uh, I'm not an American, so I know uh, that. fuck you. We'll, we'll get to the annexing later. You guys really say thesaurus? <clears throat> Eh, I say whatever the fuck I want to say. No, but like... Thesaurus. It is... Okay, well, thesaurus is how we usually say it over here. I mean, like, granted, that might just be a southern U.S. thing, but I'm, I'm just, like, legitimately curious if that's a common pronunciation. I've never heard that. No, not life. at all. Okay, I thought you were... Thesaurus I, is I, I, the one, yes. Look, I... I started watching a fucking... It, it's a Canadian comedy show, um, and granted, I was barely paying attention to it because I just got really hard back into Skyrim while I was doing it. But, um... Trailer Park Boys, uh, which I didn't even know was a Canadian show. You, you sound displeased. Um, eh, I haven't watched it myself. Okay. Doesn't I, seem quite my bag, but 
it, it, it's interesting. It's like kind of like a mockumentary, and it's actually kind of really well done. But I didn't know it was Canadian because I never associate the stereotype of like redneck living in a trailer as um, as possibly being Canadian. I I usually like in my head think of that as purely an American stereotype. Um, well, we do have our rednecks. That's fair. Um, I guess anyone will. Maybe like go to um, what's like the least redneck country like period in the world? My money's on. Uh, hmm. I don't want to say India because I know they they have like some really backwards rural folk in India. Like my buddy, my buddy from India used to tell me all about it. His grandparents were them. Um. My money on the least redneck country in the world. Uh, for some reason, the, the country Morocco is po popping out in my head, and I have no idea why. <laughs> You're really just going through every single country that pops in your head. Uh, really, I, re I really am. I'm just, like, checking out most of the... Um... You know what? Um, I'm gonna... No, no, no. Definitely not Germany, now that I think about it. I'll have to ask Mars about that one. Um, gosh, wow, like, I started saying that as if, like, I had a contender in my head, but really, it was, like, my, com like, the Microsoft DOS in my head, like, in my freaking head computer was just, like, going off, like, trying to defrag itself and try to find an answer, and it just was not happening. Ugh. Nope, I don't have an answer for you either. Fine. Well, we'll get back to that one, because I, I really have to, man... This is going to be all I'm going to think about now. Like, Minecraft just took a backseat. <laughs> um, all I need is one more black sheep, and then I can get a black bed. Um, hmm. Was that one? No. That was a block of thing. Which, by the way, again, another thing that they've added since you and I played a long, long time ago is the color of the sheep or the wool that you use determines the color of your bed now. So they're uh, all, like, white. That either. It's a llama! Ah, you're beautiful. I'm not going to kill you. You're right. Or is it an alpaca? Or whatever. Llama, alpaca, they're both adorable. Oh. Mm-hmm. Is that a black one? No, that's a block of stone. Huh. I'm kind of worried because the witch doesn't seem to be harmed by sunlight. So I'm wondering if she has like a house or something around here. Don't want to run into that. I no. mean, that's where they spawn from, typically. Really? I, I'm... The Illager thing is, like, completely new concept to me. Oh, hello, Mr. Sheepy Sheep. Where are all your cousins? I already have enough wool for one bed, but I'm just trying to get some for you as well. I have two pieces already. Oh, I have five. <clears throat> In that case, I'll come and meet you. Get some sleepies going. Oh, I'm going in the complete wrong direction. Whoops. You were to my south. Okay. Oh, um, we, we kind of like completely uh, dashed over it, but uh, UESP uh, role playing sub forum, the RP sub for uh, shorthand from now on. Um, again, uh, we we like to think that we're way cooler than the dudes who like LARP and weird shit like that, but we're really not. We're all nerds who just like do collab storytelling and D and D on a uh, messaging board. Um, but like, also, fuck it, it's fun. Um, I'm trying to think of like what's kind of newsworthy right now because uh, slowdown has been hitting people a lot with the holidays and everything. I don't know about you. I don't know how busy daycares get over the holidays. I'm not even back to work. No? Well, freaking retail, it's a big pain in the ass. But, um, the two things that have been going on, well, purported going on, did you ever sign up for Yarrow Run? Nope. No? Not uh, not your thing? Urban fantasy or whatever the hell? Or uh, Not quite. And I was involved in it enough at the time when it was coming about that I was like, oh, I'll pass this time. Mm -hmm. Well... Um, at the time of this recording, it's still kind of on hiatus because the DM for it um, has like a lot of um, real-life stuff to deal with at the moment, like lack of a computer for one. I feel like it's kind of important. Um, so uh, if you mind making your way back to the lava because I just realized it's, um, 
sundown. You can come into my house and we can cower in it for a oh. nightfall. I have to. I, I'm I'm a little bit ways away. I, I can do that, but I'm if I die, I'm blaming you. Alrighty. So um, yeah, Yarrow Run uh, is currently like on the precipice of starting. Uh, we just need to. Well, we. Um, whenever Mars has all their stuff figured out and you know everything back under control, then we'll be starting on that. Um, the other one that um, not so much. It's more of in the planning stages than anything else. Um, our good buddy Velvet Lachance is starting a, or at least I'm conceptualizing a. I, I'm saying starting because I immediately upon reading his um, proposed. Um, OP, like original post for it, immediately drafted a character and submitted it because that's just like how excited I get about this shit. Um, uh, it's called what happened, uh, what happened to Chris. And so far, at least to first glance, it looks like a murder mystery kind of deal. Very open-ended collaborative storytelling deal. A lot less D and D than a lot of the uh, things that we do. There's a lot of the times we'll have like dice rolls and stuff like that. I like this. I like this. I oh, that's adorable. Um. So how are you gonna protect us from the zombies? Uh, I have a mostly broken wooden sword. Alrighty, cool. Uh, let's get some beds then. Uh, hand me your wool. All right. We might need some more room, but oops, that that's mine. Uh, let's get that guy out here. Oh crap! No, thank you. Man, it's been so long. I'm still kind of like forgetting controls and all over the place. Boom, boom. Okay, and one. Come on, come on, baby, you can do it. There's one, and mine will be right here. Boom. Nice safety. <laughs> All uh, right. Very cramped quarters here. Yes. Two nights survived. I like it. I, I like the uh, the floating island that has cows on it. I kind of yeah. It's. Uh... <laughs> I kind of don't want to do anything to it. Let's pretend we're like on an alien world. So uh, about that, <laughs> I'm already what? building a bridge on it. So. Uh... Oh, well, whatever. I am going to move into the mushroom down the street. So, so, yeah, so, so, yeah uh, I, I get super easily distracted, and that's my bad, but um, what happened to Chris? It looks like it's going to be a sort of like a, um, a modern drama thriller, uh, murder mystery kind of deal, and I'm super looking forward to that, um, mostly because I haven't been, like, a player in one of these for ages, because, like, I've been doing TA2 for what must be like, what, three years now? Something like that, yes. Give or take. Um, and Persona, like half a year, which I need to really get on that shit um, and get it continuing because, boy, howdy, do I hate sitting on it. Uh, I'm excited about things to come. It's just, you know, we're all so busy over the holiday season and such. That being said, you know, I think now that it's go time for a lot of us, that means that we're going to be like seeing a lot more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, like production output or whatever. Um, I want to institute a post schedule on Persona, for one. That's um, ambitious. Well, so like, way back in the Dizzle, in the Dizzy Day, they, uh, like, it wasn't so much of a schedule, but, like, whenever Kara ran Great, uh, Great White North, you were there. Like, shit yep. was posted in, like, five pages a day. Um, and that was, like, a normal day. And now it's, like, to the point where, like, five pages could take, like, months at a time. And I'm not trying to, like, you know, be complaining or anything, but I, I generally do like to have... A, a, a little, you know, more activity than that. I, I like, I like whenever things are active. It just makes me feel, um, makes me feel active myself. Um, we don't necessarily need to be clipping around at uh, five pages a day, but yeah. So no, but like, I'd like to see some more posts per day would be. 
Right. That that would that would be well. my, that would be my campaign promise, as it were. Um. So like you know that being said, like you know not trying to like you know f- be fussy or anything about it, and I never want to come off as that. But um, that's why I was thinking about like a post schedule and everything. Like if I say, hey, I'm gonna make a DM post twice a week, then the next expectations are laid out and then it'll be in everyone's heads like oh hey it's like Tuesday post in persona coming up I better make sure I like post it in there and if that works decently then I'll do it in TA2 because that has a lot more people in it and even though persona is my baby I realize that like more people are into Elder Scrolls just through like the nature of the thing that we're on what the fizzity fuck excuse the fuck out oh god I uh I, like, bumped into an Enderman, like, physically bumped into him, <laughs> um, and I didn't notice until I heard the noise. I saw, like, a flash of black and then a puff of purple smoke when I looked up at it. So he couldn't have been that pissed about it. Oh, uh, how bothersome. Excuse me, sir. Really? So, so that would be the goal, is to, like, get things kind of running back up there. Just kind of get things... I'm like I'm I'm trying I'm talking like I'm in charge and shit, which is like far far from it. Please don't ever put me in charge of anything ever. Um, but as someone who's been on there for over as a matter, it'll be seven years. Oh God, this year in October. That's really weird that I've been on an online community that long. <laughs> um, but yeah, seven years of just fucking around, being an idiot, and you people putting up with me. Uh, well, in a in a more public setting. Rather than fucking around and being an idiot, you know, within your own life. I mean, I do that anyway, but yes, I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, um, you, you just grow to, ah, fuckity fucking fuck, god damn it, oh shit, oh god, 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 okay, 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 we're good, we're good. We are not good, we are not good, we are, we are leaving, we are leaving, we are leaving, creeper, uh, uh, creeper, possibly multiple ones, I, I did not look long enough to find out. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, dear. Okay, 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 okay. Hoo boy. Okay. All right. You good now? I'm sorry. My, my fucking heart is beating like a million miles a minute right now. Uh, okay. I think we're good. I calmed down a little bit. I, I, I just found like a natural cave like this, but less safe. I found like a natural cave depression, and I was just like, doo, 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 and I heard like a little knock on wood, basically, literally, and then like a bunch of green was on my screen, and I was not about it. Good to know. Okay, <sighs> well, uh, I will. I will. I would not. Yeah, I would definitely keep there. like one eye open right now. Um, only shitty thing about being around the the mushroom forest: there aren't any trees here. Yeah, we're uh, we're running low on wood, that we but are. that is okay because I am making a stone bridge over to the uh, savanna. Ah, by it's all means, acacia wood. Oh, okay, I'll have to revamp my uh, my interior decorating. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Trying to like get a lay of the land, see what's up. Uh huh. I'm still staircase up here. I am king. Of oh, that that is definitely a stone bridge. How about that? How how fast did you get that done? Jesus Christ. I look away for like a second and then boom, we have a bridge. <laughs> okay. I'm going to gently, gently descend. Oof. Okay. Oop. And you go here. Man. I'm looking at like all these mushroom things and I'm like, I'm going to build here and I'm going to build here. Well, I also need a wood bowl so I can start uh, milking the mushroom for stew. Oh, uh, that's true. You can do that. Wow, yeah, this is fairly sustainable then, isn't it? Okay, we're going to go up here. Wow, like even a nice little decorative stairway. I like it. So my plan, uh, like my plan, uh, my style of play with this game really is like claiming dominion over all I survey. Um, oh. It's still in progress. All right. <laughs> We're working on it. We're working I, I, on it. I was like, yeah, and then boop. I've never really been around Savannah in this game. It's kind of kind of new. I like the look of the wood, though. 
looks dark. Grab a couple from this tree here. I'll tie a yellow ribbon around that oak tree. Have you ever heard that song? Uh, I've heard the lyrics being quoted. It's uh, I I um I I used to love it when I was a little kid, and I would like sing it all the time. And I only like recently actually listened to what it was being said. And it's about a dude who um oh. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Come over here. Uh, okay. One sec. Uh, we got a we got a little thing in the horizon that's gonna bear exploring. Wow, I I don't like to I don't like to you know put too much stock into fate often, but like it is a really solid world start for like a streaming playthrough. Because I mean, look over there in the distance, see some geometrical oh, patterns, neat. right? Wow. So okay, cool. Fucking right on we get our wood from over here we hop back on across the bridge and we prep ourselves for some good old-fashioned dungeoneering i assume that's a temple i i don't know again that might be something that has been oh changed. it is it is okay, good good bam do you have like any particular end goals that you want to set for like this uh playthrough like just to uh, for none whatsoever no whatsoever no so I would like to at least get to the nether just because, you know, that's that's the cool thing to do. That's all the cool kids are doing. But um, I'm kind of with you there. Uh, when, as long as we're, like, having fun and just, like, doing shit, then I don't really give a shit. That being said, Do you I mean do. to suggest that video games are meant to be enjoyable experiences? Yeah, they'd have you believe it's otherwise. No clearly defined goals, necessarily. They'd have you believe otherwise. They... Oh, there are rabbits in Minecraft now? Look at you. There you're, have been for quite some time. You're adorable, and now you're dead. Ah, uh, Emily will kill me for that. Uh, okay. Hey, sweetie, it looks like something uh, hey, something uploaded on your uh, your YouTube channel. What you guys been up to? Uh, nothing. I'm heading back nothing to the safety. Nothing at all. Eh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing that would interest you whatsoever. I am heading back to the safety of civilization. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, that is a definitely unfinished bridge. We're working on it. Mm -hmm. Before you know it, we're going to be like, it has to be checkerboarded, solid diamond, solid gold. My, um, I remember being on a PC server when I was in, like, mid-high school. Um, Take your bed. Oh, yeah, thank you. Well, I mean, it's not livable up there, so we're going to have to bunk it. Um, I, I, I don't have, like, a roof yet. Just, we'll be fine. Oh, your need for roofs. Jeez. So, the, uh, we had some, I am incredibly uh, uncomfortable. Uh, Get off of me. No. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> anyway, oh, okay, that's fair. So, we... We had someone on the on the um, on the server who wanted to make one of the rooms in their house a discotheque, and that what? included a, a discotheque, like just a, a disco, um, and that included tr uh, making a, a checkerboarded disco floor. Um, they accomplished <laughs> this by mining for literal months for uh, for gold and diamond. Um, creating like these massive caverns and like just sprawling mining complexes just to get some uh, diamond and gold. And when they finally did it, it was like a very small room, but like each one of those blocks was like a shitload of diamond and, and a shitload of gold for each. So it's like really impressive. Okay, got some acacia there, got some oak as well. Um, uh, do I have any doit? I need some doit. Ah, there's my dirt. Gotta take this dirt, and I'm gonna use it as a elevator. Boom, 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 boom. And boop. Two, three. Yes, very good. There's two and one. And one for good measure. Alrighty. 
I guess I'll start just, I'll build a little perimeter up on these guys. It's like a ground floor. Well, I guess, do you think the top of these mushrooms would make a good floor, or should I just, like, build a wood floor? Uh, I'd say you should probably build a wood floor for that. I'm kind of with you there, yeah. Make like, a good <laughs> roof, though. So, um, yeah, no kidding. It's, uh, it, uh, it puts a little investment in time, but, I mean, you know, the, really just bumps the resale value up. And, I mean, have you seen the location? You take your kids to the temple. Boom, 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 boom. We do sermons on Saturdays. I hear they're to die for. Oh, it's positively ghoulish of you. The Monster Mash. I fucking hate that song so much. All right. Do you guys do the Halloween cereals in Canada? Halloween cereals. Um, I... Count Chocula, Boo Berry. Oh, Frank and cereals. Berry. I thought you meant like. Uh, never mind. Oh no uh, no no! Not like a no. television cereal. No. No, we do not. No. Huh. I definitely know of such cereals, but okay. In Canada, no. My um, my father works with a gentleman uh, from I believe he's a Newfie from uh, Jan Newfoundland, um, or maybe he's, I don't know on like the opposite side in like Vancouver or something. One of the I, I know he like works with like two different like Canadian dudes, and I think those are their two identity groups, whatever. Because like Newfoundland's on like the opposite side of Vancouver, right? Uh, the opposite side of the country yeah. from Vancouver. One or the other. Vancouver's and like... West Coast and Newfie's East Coast. Okay. So, like, what I just told you is, yeah, he's in Canada. but So it shows you how much I fucking know. But I just remember that uh, he was very entertained when he came to America for the first time because of all our brands and food and stuff like that. Um, because, like, you know, you go to the store over here, you want to buy some peanut butter. You got, like, Jif. You got Peter Pan. You've got, uh, you know, whatever. And over wherever he grew up, he wanted some peanut butter. They went to the store and got peanut butter. And that was just it. You know? Yep. Is that like a, is that part of the course or is it because he was like a rural guy? I... Well, let's see. Uh, well, how many crazy brands of peanut butter do you guys have? I mean, I can think of Jif and Skippy and that's kind of about it. Okay, so you guys, like, you know, I, I, I guess, like, it was silly to think, like, you guys don't have, like, any brand stuff at all, but that's, um, that seems to be what he was coming from. We have, like, four different brands of peanut butter that I can think of. Like, I, I can get two, um, let's see, we have Jif and Peter Pan and uh, the one with Mr. Peanut on it. I can never. I think it might be called Mr. Peanut, but I don't know. We've always been a GIF family, and there's like a fourth one that I, whose name I just cannot remember to save my life. So it's not um. You guys aren't living in a post-capitalist paradise, and I figured that's probably makes a lot more sense now that I actually think about it. But again, that might have been because the dude was in like a really small town or something. Yeah, that makes more sense. Because I mean, we do have plenty of brands of you know whatever the hell. Bag of milk peanut butters and that was always the example that he used was peanut butter I don't know why they went directly for peanut butter uh, this is the wrong kind of wood there it is okay you ever just like start just like hammering away at something for like 10 minutes and you're like wrong kind oh there goes my fucking axe one of my axes. Do we not have autosave on? Um, I'm pretty sure we would have seen that it had autosaved by now if we did have it on, uh, so I believe we the don't. The menu option says disable autosave. Maybe it only like autosaves when we sleep. No idea. Hmm. Well, let's just not die. How about that? Uh, yeah, that sounds like a plan. <laughs> I wonder if they still have the mode. I know um, they added a mode where if you die, the world gets deleted. Um, and I'm super not about that. 
Yeah, no, I'm not uh, I'm not into that hardcore stuff myself. Mm -mm. I mean, hard difficulty, sure, but... Well, it depends on the game. Uh, I wouldn't find nearly as much like enjoyment in like XCOM if permadeath wasn't a function. But in similar games, like in Fire Emblem, I generally don't um, play with permadeath on. It, it really depends. Why am I even... I should just be making this stuff out of dark, uh, dark oak. It looks so much better. So I'd say we should uh, explore that temple tomorrow, maybe? If I have a house built up by then. Okay. Well, I think um, for cutting purposes, I think it's good. I mean, like um, like I explained in like one of the Overwatch videos, we're probably going to be experimenting with different recording techniques and everything. Um, but like for cuts purposes, now would probably be a good time for... Um, this is some behind the scenes action guy uh, action for you guys. It's like um, the cut to the outro and the intro. So um, I think um, yeah, I'll say thank you for joining us today, and hopefully we'll be back with you guys with some more um, gut wrenching story and um, fucking hopefully actually get some exploration in on a uh, next episode of Moon and Stardew Minecraft. Uh, thank you guys for joining us, and we'll be back with y'all in a bit. Okay. Y'all good? You don't need anything? I'm good. I'm getting a sip of my purple drink, and then I will be good to continue. I am out of purple drink. This must be remedied. BRB. Okay. Okay, so um, I guess we can throw in an intro and then like, you know, if nothing interesting happens in between us like going to the thing, I will um, just do a cut ahead, but we can just like do an intro now if you're good. Oh, uh, okay. Starts off. Neat. And hello, welcome back to uh, Moon and Stardew Minecraft. Um, I am Tyler and with me always is my uh, dashing, charming co-host, Brandon. All the way up in the north hemisphere. Well, thank you for that intro. Um, north North hemisphere. Uh, let me. Where? Uh, we we learned the hemispheres like once in elementary school, and I just completely threw them out of my mind because I just did not care. That place over there. Yeah, sure. Um, oh, is it really? Is it really time already? Jesus Christ! The freaking nights are so short. Uh, okay, I am far away from the bridge. I am dreadfully... Ooh, purple, uh, gray sheep. Die! Yeah, dreadfully far, far away from the bridge. Not not a fan of how far away from the bridge I am. Uh, not a fan? This game inspires, like, dread and stress unlike any I've ever played. And, like, I've played... Um, I played the freaking genocide ending of Undertale. I know stress. <laughs> uh, I've I've yet to play that through. I need to. Heart. I need to freaking. I, I I beat the final boss of that one. Which, uh, uh, kind of out of left field. Undertale spoilers here. So if you haven't um like beat it yet, then like just you know go 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 buy Undertale and play it. Like ignore what the like the youngins like cropped up around it to make it into. It's. It's such a good game. It's like one of the best like indie experiences like period and it's just it's oh it's so great. Um I'm gonna sneeze swoops right in here. Um I mean it's just like such a positive experience. And um you can do uh. a evil run of the game where you know, it makes some very questionable morale uh morality decisions. 
ends with one of the hardest video game bosses, like, period, that I can think of. And, uh, oh boy. It, um, it took me ages to beat him. I'm talking like I had to practice at it for days. But whenever I did it, it felt good. Well, it felt terrible because, like, you have to do awful things to get to that battle, but it felt good. Come explore with me. Wait, what are you talking about? That temple. Oh, not, not yet. I, I, I got like, I gotta make food. I gotta like get a furnace and shit. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm hurting over here, man. Got, I got. Ambition. I have some raw steaks. You can, you can go and like do your thing and like and do some scouting, and then we can like delve deeper into it if you want. <laughs> Come just, on. Right now, I just, I really need to. I really need to like get my, uh, my life situation in order here. Hmm. Might be a good idea for you to build the chest as well, so you can offload the, some of your resources and stuff. In the event of your death, to. you won't lose much. The inevitable event. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of just fortifying the home base over here. I have shit to cook, and it's like, I have a crap ton of shit to cook, actually. Uh, we're going to put that down. No, nope, that's a furnace. Well. Put some wood on the furnace. Cook me up some mutton. And while that's going, I'm going to get myself a new fancy axe. A new fancy sward. Hello, Mushroom. You're adorable. Damn it, I accidentally destroyed a bit of my mushroom. This is kind of like part of my problem whenever I play this, is I get so wrapped up in the... I, I become like a staunch imperialist when I play Minecraft. I have to like manifest destiny everything that I see. Yeah, I've, uh, I've noticed that. Whenever they, um, apparently they added, like, banners into the game, and I'm like, they did that for me. They know, <laughs> they know, they know me, and they know I'm going to do that. Okay. I should have a sizable mutton reserve built up from my furnace. Oh, let's finish this guy. I don't replace all that. I'll have some acacia flooring. I think that'll look nice. And then my uh, my walls will be dark oak. Okay, that's plenty. Let's save up all my crap, because god darn it, do I have a lot of crap. Oops. Okay, I'll take you. And put you here. All right, and you're uh, waiting over there by the entrance, I guess. Yep. You got any torches? I have torches. I have a uh, few. Right. I've also cleared away most of the sand from in front of the entrance. Ooh, a buried temple. All right. Well, let's uh, uh let's partially. Let's Indiana Jones this shit then. I'll be on there in just a second. Hello, chicken. I might need your egg as a projectile weapon. Blood for the blood god, skulls for the skull throne. Uh, I don't need a stick. They didn't even drop eggs. I haven't gone in the right. I can't see shit on this map. There it is. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. well, there's like a little oasis right here. It's where all the animals hang out. Yeah, it's nice. Alrighty. I see you already have some leather armor made. Meanwhile, I am but a... Uh, just the helmet. Okay. The I am rest defenseless. is all the skin. 
I noticed something you're an Imperial from Skyrim, it looks like. Yep. And I'm Garrus from Mass Effect. Let me, uh, yeah, I'm beautiful. I almost picked Garrus as my skin, so, uh... He's mine. Good Can't that I have him. I love him. He's mine. He's my boy. Okay, so, um, shall I make the inaugural cutting of the metaphorical red tape? Yep. Alrighty. Let's get in there. Okay, I'm already incredibly frightened. It's like some, um... It's like some Zelda 2 shit. I'm already hearing the music in my head. I don't have any torches, by the way, so that's uh, it's up to you to be the light bearer here. If this is it, like, can we, like, claim this? Like, can we just, like, kind of chill here, like, make it our pad? Oh, I found a entryway over here. Seems to be some more stuff to it over here. Hmm. No, dude, I think this is just like a really chill place. It's like a freaking... Huh. Dude, fuck building a house. I want to live here. <laughs> like, what? There's, there's got to be like maybe like a, a randomly generated like section of it that's like supposed to lead down that we're just not seeing. Um... Maybe it's an odd place for some dirt. What? Oh dear. Oh my. All right. I was to think I was about to build a house over here. All right. Um. I mean, no sense in not going to check it out. Yeah, except all the sense in the world. Okay. Oh, there's um. You have the torches. I hate you. Yeah, come on! <laughs> oh, come on! Maybe someday even you'll be worth something, Doctor Jones. Ah, uh, fuck off with this shit. God. Damn it, of course it's whenever I don't have any fucking... You piece of shit. I cannot see anything. hate you. Bastard. All right, it like, gets better. Did you, did you put some fucking... Did you do all this while I was fucking around? <laughs> oh my god. Wait, no, there's actually some shit in here. I didn't set it up. I actually looted it already. <laughs> oh, well, I'm taking, I'm taking the bones. That's, that's good oh, You go bones. ahead and take the bones. You come and check out what I already looted from the place. It's some good shit. Ah, oh, you piece of shit. You always do this. This is why I can never <laughs> go adventuring with you ever. Um, wow. Well, I mean, dude, like, fuck building our own place. I want to. I want to. I just want to chill out here. This is ours. Yeah. Well, yeah, that uh, it had a few good things in it. The, in the treasure chests. I don't even like know where to navigate yet. We haven't a uh, we haven't put like the down payment on the lease yet. Like we're still kind of waiting to get a feel. But uh, yeah, what? Well, we... Maybe you are, but I've already looted the place. All right, what did you what did you get? Let's see, nine bricks of TNT. Okay. And some other goodies that just, I have stashed away already. Just so the fucking thing you need in your hands is tea and the goddamn tea. <laughs> I hate whenever you have explosives. <laughs> oh, I hate it. I hate whenever you have... You know, you are fortunate that I excavated the TNT because uh, there's that uh, trip plate at the bottom. Well, it, there was a trip plate at the bottom that uh, kind of ignites it. I considered letting you stumble into that, but uh, I decided against it. Putting my stone sword out, and I'm aiming at you the entire time, just in case. <sighs> Can't play video games with you, ever. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, like, if you're blowing all this up, then like at least like let me recover all my crap. Oh, no, no, no. This TNT is being saved for a special occasion. Oh, my God. But anyway, I'm going to. Oh, in this unassuming cave, up here. Uh huh. Holy shit! 
yeah, that's not all from the chests, but I mean, the good shit you see there, yeah, that's from the temple. What? Yeah. Dude. Uh, grab, Take my uh, torches. Uh, some of. Were those all yours? Uh, everything. Okay, okay yeah. let's see. Everything that's on the top row there, that shit was from the. Well, and the sandstone and the sand. But... Yeah, whatever. Uh, sundown. So already. there's a saddle, there's horse armor. I saw that. Can you ride an alpaca? Because I absolutely will ride I an have... alpaca. No idea. I'm gonna plop down for the sleeps, and it'll be my last night in the mushroom house. I'm moving in to um, freaking Casa del, whatever the fuck. Pyramido. Yeah, like really. Tired of this weird shit where we like clip together. <laughs> I should put like a transition. Mushroom house. Yeah, I should put like a transition in every time we like advance from day to day, um, like Imajora's mask. If I can figure out how to do it. Uh, there we go. Yeah, that'd be neat. Alright. Pack up my stuff. Lug it all into the old van. I don't know what those enchanting books, though. Two of them, let's see. I don't really know how they Depth function. Strider and Frostwalker. I think Frostwalker makes you run faster on... um on ice, as it would imply, and, um, uh, fucking, what was the other one? A uh, depth strider thing is, like, faster swimming. Sounds about right. Boop. Boop. Excuse me, Mr. Mushi. Wow, like, what a stroke of luck that we not only spawned a temple, but spawned a temple that didn't have any monsters in it. Oh, monsters are seldom the problem with those temples. It's the booby traps at the bottom. And falling to your death. Fortunately, you have a skilled adventurer at your side. Yeah. I'm much more of a homebody in this game. Uh, Fair man. enough. I just, I like building shit. I like finding shit and claiming it. it it's, I always like get started with, um, with Minecraft. I like fixate myself on building a really nice little pad, like bachelor pad. Um, and then get burnt out on like a plan that's too large, and then like just put it down for a couple months. It's a never-ending vicious cycle, but that's how it do. Alrighty. Why did this raw rabbit spontaneously die? Mm, too hot. There's another rabbit nearby. Did it kill it? What the hell happened? That is suspicious. <laughs> the Law and Order SVU theme starts playing. It's a baby rabbit, too. Come here, you little bastard. What have you done? The baby rabbit and its final act of cruelty. Uh... Well, speaking of cruelty, it's dead. Yay, murder. All right. It's not murder because it's not a human. <laughs> I, you're, you're, you're not wrong, but still fuck you. <laughs> Okay. Um, kinda, I need to open the floor plan a little bit up here. Give me some ways to reliably reach the top without having to squeeze. Have you already in. taken all your shit out of the uh, off the mushroom island here? Um, I mean, I took all that I needed. Uh huh. Okay. Well, if you're gonna. Hold on, let me get a good view of it before you blow it to some of the reins. Special occasion, he says. I'm like, geez, I wonder what he's going to blow up. But I'm always blowing shit up with you. Always. Like, you, you never, like, leave traces of our, like, adventures behind. Why would I do a silly thing like that? Because sentimentality is important to me. I'll take you. I like how it's all checkerboarded. 
I guess this will be my room. There's no music playing right now, and it's making me kind of uneasy. Don't like it. Do also, it doesn't help that I know what you're doing right now. Just kind of arrange this in. Let me, uh, let me get a little look. Arranging it in, arranging it in. Hold on. Fucking hell, this map, whenever you're on, like, the... Oh, Jesus! Yeah, <laughs> I'll watch it in the edit, I guess. Because I'm too far <laughs> to the edge of the map to be able to tell what direction I'm facing. Did you have fun? Uh, a little bit. Oh, the green out is me. Or maybe it's not. Whatever. I got more important things to worry about. Like, decking this place that... Walk out. But first things first, I need some cobblestone. Or do I already have a furnace? No, I didn't take my furnace with me. Of course I didn't. Why would I? That would be convenient. Okay, well, now that I've detonated your home. Thank you. Uh, the home that I never really got to finish either. Yeah. I will use this TNT for good. As in, I will excavate something with it. I say, like, freaking chase the damn creepers out of that little zone that we um, stumbled into. Fuck those guys. I'm thinking more along the lines of a strip mine. Eh, you know. Tomato, tomato. Ah, delicious cobblestone. Hello. I forget how like zen this game is. I, I probably already said that, but like, gosh, I just, I, I just really sends you to a special place. I'm saying this and like you're lacing Ooh. TNT. Well, that's neat. What's that? I excavated a little, uh, little, what would the word be? I don't know. It's a well now, I guess. I dug a well. <laughs> All right. You found an aquifer, is what we call those. Uh, sure. Come out of your little hidey hole for a second here. I am. Oh. I say like you're, you're other. You're over there on the mushroom island. But... Ah, uh, shit. Okay. What we got? Isn't that nice? Yeah, aquifer. But also, like, yes, I can see that you, uh, you did some work with it. Yeah. Nice modern feel to the place. All right, where'd I put my house? There it is. What were you doing down here? Ah, uh, just getting some cobblestone. Probably could have just waited ten seconds for you to freaking detonate the place. I want to build myself a furnace, cook some sand to make glass, because that's apparently how glass is made. There's like so much shit I have to move around. This was a nice little patch of savanna until I got here. I love how the traces of us like being in places like me, it's like crafting tables left behind, um, occasional little little like hidey holes or like small little almost houses and then you, giant craters. Yep. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good. It's good. And yea, did God say unto the Egyptians? 
Alrighty. What else am I forgetting? There's like so much shit I need to do to like get this place up in nice and working order. Ooh, iron. Oh, don't need two of those. Night is falling. That it is. It's a good thing I have a bed. Mirror. It's a good thing I have TNT. <laughs> With which to protect myself. Yep. You know, I'll just leave these as souvenirs for little, little bunnies or cows to find. The UN has like laws about that. Yeah, not Minecraft. They don't. Jesus. <laughs> not yet, anyway. I'll go back to my house in a minute. Okay. Uh, let's do the detonate this one. Uh, nothing exciting under there. That's a good purple drink. my house in a second nice and okay <clears throat> art imitating real life here because i'm like getting sleepy watching my dude just like chill out and get like that hazy <laughs> vision but also might be because again i've been up for over 24 hours i have something to do with that smite <sighs> it's a lovely day the sun is shining on the sand there's a giant hole in the ground. Walking away from that. Oh, hello, Mr. Enderman. Goodbye, Mr. Enderman. With a question mark. Alright. Get all the glass that I cooked. <laughs> oh dear. What's that? Oh. Uh, I pushed a chicken on one of my landmines. Dumbass. I know, right? He didn't even know it was landmine. <laughs> so they function as landmines then? Like, you know, if something steps on it, it goes off? No, you got to uh, set them up like landmines. Oh, Dig two uh... down. Dig two down. Put your TNT down. Put a a block of dirt or whatever over top, then put down a pressure plate. Oh my god. Then you've got yourself a landmine. Oh my god. I hate it. No one man should have all that power. Uh, you can do lots of fun stuff with pressure plates. Such as scar the face of this once beautiful savannah. <sighs> like... You you just you're really bringing down like the overall property value of the neighborhood too. Uh, Good luck trying ridiculous. to get that to a realtor. I'm keeping this shit. This this, this is this is mine. This is mine over here. I wonder. I hear a cave. Somewhere around here. Yeah. Alrighty. 
explore for that another time. Oh my goodness, excuse me. Ugh. This is definitely... Now this is definitely a cave. What, um... There, there was doubt about whether it was a cave or not? No, I heard one, uh... Where I was, but now where I am, there is most definitely a cave. I, I'm just, I'm picturing you like looking straight into like a natural cloven rock, like you know, f uh, structure, and like, hmm. Carefully yep, it's judging wood. it. Yep, it's a cave. Get myself some little nightstands. Yeah, that might be too much. Did I have a goal? Guy might have uh, <laughs> misplaced it when I started beating wild to death, wildlife yeah. to death with uh, with a shovel. As you tend to, it's kind of one of your habits. Well, I'm glad you said habit, not hobby, because that'd be one sick hobby. <laughs> it's not that I want to do it. It's like, look at him. All not beaten to death and stuff. <laughs> Someone's got to do something. Glass houses. Dot dot dot. Alright, don't. Come on. I'm not, I'm just looking. Just looking and making you nervous, that's all. D am I wrong to not trust you? Eh, 50-50. Uh-huh. So I need to get more, uh, coal, but not that big of a deal right now. Looks like more savannah further on to the... I'm not sure which direction that is. Hmm. You know, trouble. Ah, fuck. I bit my tongue really hard. Ow. Uh, that would be east, I think. It's almost time yeah. for, um, for new map. Like, shit. Well, I mean, I've still got plenty of exploring to do, but, eh. I'm not too worried about that. There might be more cool stuff, uh, further northwest from where we spawn, too. Well, huh? but, like, yeah. But, um, isn't... Is it like an algorithm in place or something that like basically makes it to where the farther away you are from home, the cooler the shit that uh, spawns is, or something like that? Uh, I don't know about cooler shit, but I know if you go out super far, then it starts getting really janky. I think that's um just like the end of the natural world generation. As is whenever like the machine has to fill in the links and it kind of gets some chunks wrong every once in a while. I almost fell through a hole. I'm, I'm suddenly like falling asleep real hard in real life. Kind of. Well, maybe with this uh, this in-game evening, we should call it a night, as it were. Uh, yeah, and... I think. I I was expecting to be able to make it through the night, but uh, I'm not gonna be able to. I'm, I'm like I'm bobbing my head up and down right now. It's just like oh man. Uh, it, it's. It, I just want to like chill. At night sometimes, especially after I get back from work, it's my 
Very thing to do is it's like, all right, hey, you, you need sh you need uh, to wind down because you you did hard work today. And I do, and I just could pass out at any given point. Yeah, no, you do sound. Uh, oh yeah. Very much. <laughs> I, I'm dragging. Right oh, I'm dragging so hard. I'm trying not to just like fall over, but like my my mind like keeps on trying to go like just let just let the head go and hit the pillow. Just let it go. You can tell like. You're, you're the one keeping yourself up. Serious. No. Uh. Uh. Yeah, no. Oh, man. I'm sorry, y'all. And I'm sorry to you. But, um, uh, I literally cannot, like, sit up and do anything else right now. Um... <laughs> I need to I need yeah. to do some early sleeps. Well, early considering the day, early and night, not at all. As a matter of fact, like it's barely like seven o'clock over here. I think, yes, yeah, not even seven o'clock over here. Oh god. Okay. Um. Let's see if I can be coherent enough. Um. Thank you guys for joining us for um our first official day of uh. Moon and Star. Hopefully, um, at as a time comes for me to edit the last couple of videos, including this one, um, it'll have, oh, excuse me, gracious, it'll have entered, um, you know, some sort of editing program that'll chop up the things, make it, little, make it look nice, just generally flow better. Um, was there any questions you had before we left off, Brandon? Uh, Brandon? uh nope, not a one. Cool. I am trying really hard to be lucid, and it's just not working. Uh, uh, you can go ahead. Oh yeah, I'm in a I'm in a strange headspace myself to the point where I'm currently hammering away at stone with a uh, this is a pork chopper raw beef. Yes, I, I can barely beef. focus on anything straight. Right, I don't know where this like sudden wave of tiredness. Well, I know exactly where it came from, but I just wasn't ready for it. Uh, so, goodbye. Talent and talent is good. And uh, uh do you, do you, do you I work? guess this is the part where we just trail I'm so off sorry. the video the video. I'm so ends. sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Alrighty guys. Um maybe next time I'll be more awake. Um I appreciate you guys like sticking with us with this um this experimental approach to it. We'll definitely talk more about yeah, like uh, right now too. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, it's contagious. We'll talk more about like some forum stuff and uh, like just generally more game banter as it is starting on the next one. If you guys have any um, questions that y'all like answer it on here, then feel free to either uh, give us a private message or let us know on YouTube. And um, and because I've always wanted to do this, so you should definitely um, like, comment, and subscribe just so we um, you know we get some numbers going, get some more subscribers up. You'll see whenever we have a new video to be released. Um, that one coherent uh, spiel took all the energy I had. I'm going to video game sleep and then I'm going to regular sleep. Uh, this is Tyler, and with me as always is Brandon. Uh. And, uh, yeah. And thank you guys for joining me and Bailoff. Uh, this is Union Hack signing off. Thank you for watching. Moon and Star. Oh, Holy shit. <sighs> yeah, you can end the broadcast. I'm so sorry. I don't know what just hit me. Well, I know exactly what hit me.